welcome and welcome to the present if you just join me for the first time do me that kind favor by sticking a like on the video i appreciate that subscribe you're here to subscribe and lastly make sure you turn on your notification bell so what am i discussing today uh very, very important somehow somehow after just 10 games 10 games sports have won the league yes are you surprised oh, i'm just like you i'm like suddenly the league is now 10 games played but sports have won the league i remember we did the last season even though at 20 games they kept on reminding us oh man city are, are, are notorious for coming through uh, the tail of the season and winning 10 straight games 50 straight games they've done it before they have the experience the manager the budget the structure and i agree and eventually they won the league right fair game but but suddenly the same metric is not meted out to sports at 10 games the same question i don't ask about sports they are telling us how Pastor koglu has done fantastic i'm not going to deny it right this man has done fantastic for sports compared to their last two managers jose moreno and uh conte will, will for me were a disaster he has done a great job at sports but for us to start celebrating eulogizing him at 10 games but you didn't give the same benevolence to Ateta last season, even at 20 games, I find it very rich and interesting. I find it very, very rich and interesting. The same mainstream media who were scrutinizing us at 20 games are suddenly very generous, very benevolent, very soft. They're not even asking the aggressive questions. The tough questions, the way they were asking us now, those tough questions last season. Kudos to sports. They might be our arc rivals and enemies, but shout out to them. They are playing. I'm not going to make miss my words with it. They are playing better football than Arsenal at the moment. Fantastic. They are not in Europe. They have lesser games. They have consistency of picking their first eleven. Aside from yesterday against Crystal Palace, where Udoji wasn't available, but they are having a relative the consistency of picking uh, uh, their first eleven. Shout out to them. They are doing well in context. But don't tell me, don't push this agenda, this propaganda. Sports are going to win the league because I'm not saying it's impossible. It is not probable. They don't have the squad. They don't have the depth. They don't have the experience. Same thing. Most of you questioned us last season. I'm, I'm not saying all across board, everybody's agreeing that sports can compete for the league or win the league. But the fact that the reasonable voices are very, very low and your reasonable voices are higher is crazy. Because last season, even Arsenal fans were questioning Arsenal that you had 20 games that we couldn't do it. Now let's wait till 30 games. But sports are 10 games. I mean, 10 games. I'm not saying they've not done well. Ah, 10 games. Let, let's look at this again. Play 10, 13 goals different, 26 points. Arsenal here, 9 games, uh, 21 points. But suddenly, Spurs have won the league. It is crazy. It is clearly stupid that we are asking dumb questions at, at this period in time. No. Until 30 games, then we can begin to ask whether Spurs can win the league. At 10 games, I think it's sickening. I think it just shows the bias in the media, especially the mainstream media. And even though it's not to even call out the private or private content creators who are actually sneaking in the nonsense and the BS sometimes, saying maybe sports can they can't do something yet. We cannot be asking that question right now at 10 games. You can't be asking if sports can do something at 10 games. It's, it's ridiculous. It's senseless. Especially if the yardstick you've used for Arsenal and other teams has been onto 30 games. So what changed? What has changed? Or do we call it prejudice? You just like Arsenal? I understand. Arsenal is the only club in England that somehow the British media don't just like. Maybe because of the class, maybe because of how we do things. There's some reason why with the, the English media, the mainstream, especially do not just like Arsenal, but suddenly sports are the media darling, right? They can win the league even though they just play 10 games. And I'm not going to take away the credit for them that they've done well for the last 10 games and they've played better aesthetically than Arsenal for the last, for the first 10 games. They play aesthetically better than Arsenal. I'm going to give, I'm give them that. But don't tell me they're a better score than Arsenal. Or at the end of the day, they'll be on top of Arsenal in terms of points tally. I don't think so. Arsenal have a better team, a better squad, a better manager relatively in my, in, in my own opinion. And guess what? Let's wait. The season is still long. There's still be bumps on the road, twists and turns. Nations Cup, 
Asian Cup. A lot to come. Sports have been very lucky with injuries. Guess what? Every team will have their own fair share of injuries. Sports have been lucky with referee decisions. Guess what? Every team will have their own fair share of referee decisions and VR decisions. So let's simmer down. Let's calm down. Don't be in a rush to jump on the bandwagon. Can sports do something? Can they win the league? I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's not probable based on quality of players, based on the experience of the squad, based on the experience of the manager, based on the stretch of injuries that will come on later. See, everything, you can't escape it. It's part and parcel. It's priced into the league. Injuries, VR decisions, questionable officiating, is priced into the league. So, for the fact that sports have been enjoying a smooth run, let's wait till the bump comes. Let's wait till players get stretched. Four or five games during the Christmas period in a week. Injuries, stretches, when the, 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 the quality of the squad is stretched. So, let's wait until then. Then we cannot ask those questions. And most importantly, let's wait till game 30. It's just game 10. So, it is insane to push that narrative that maybe sports can win the league it's too early way way too early so guys let me know in the comment section what do you think about this nonsense being peddled in mainstream media that sports somehow can win the league well that's poster koglu for me who has done a decent job i'm not going to take it anything from poster koglu can win the league in his first season as sports i don't believe so i don't think anything is impossible in football football is a funny game but i don't think it's probable so let me know in the comment section uh don't forget to like the video uh, very, very important. Like the video, subscribe here to subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. Let, one more time, let me say it again. Like the video, subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. <laughs> How am I struggling with my words? So keep supporting us now. Keep su supporting football. Keep watching objectively. Let the banter be minimal, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.